welcome back to another Monday vlog. So I'm pretty excited about today's vlog and I think that it's one that you guys are really going to enjoy because I get a lot of requests for videos like this so here we are. So today's vlog is basically just going to be a morning pet care routine. It is currently Monday morning, I just woke up a little bit ago, and when you have as many animals as I do, the animal care starts basically as soon as you wake up. And it also just continues like all day long, so. So we're gonna get started by feeding Alaska and then both of the cats, and then we're gonna be heading down to the basement to take care of all of those animals. Now before we go and get started with this, I did just wanna give a little disclaimer though, because I feel like a video like this requires one. So I have a lot of animals and those animals require a lot of daily care. However, the majority of my animals, especially those down in my basement, are nocturnal and honestly just don't have a lot of care that needs to be done in the mornings. Most of my animal care actually happens in like the mid-afternoon and the evening and night, so the mornings are actually pretty easy going, so I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there because I don't want anyone to think that this is the only animal care I do all day because there is so much more that happens later on so don't think that owning 50 animals is as easy as this video may seem. So with that said, let's just go on with the vlog and let's go feed some hungry floofy animals. Misty? Misty, do you have something to say? Are you hungry? I think we have some hungry animals. What about you, Alaska? Are you hungry? You hungry? Misty? Would you like to say anything else? <laughs> and then we have Oryx over here who's usually quite quiet when she's hungry, but if she's sitting down here in the dining room, then I know that it means she's waiting for food. So this here is everything that I use to prep all of these guys' food. Alaska, Misty, and Oryx all eat Big Country Raw. They do super, super well on it. So this one here is the cat's food for today. So they're getting the pure pork formula. And Alaska today is getting the turkey dinner formula. So I do like to rotate their foods a lot. They get a huge variety of flavor. Thankfully, none of my animals are overly picky, so that's really good. But I think we have some hungry guys now, so I'm not gonna keep them waiting. Misty, Misty, get out of there. And then of course we have their food dishes and we have some supplements here. So we have a taurine supplement and we have some herring oil. Oryx sometimes gets really shy eating around Misty in Alaska and likes to have her food upstairs so if she's feeling shy we just bring her food up into our bedroom and then we let her eat it in here. Oryx is funny though because it's like not a consistent thing. Usually she eats downstairs no problem but just every couple days she just doesn't want to. Every few days she demands to have her food up here don't you? Don't you? It's kind of funny because that habit only developed after she got spayed. So back when Oryx got spayed, she had to be kept away from the other animals for a few weeks, you know, just so that she didn't like get injured or rip her stitches or anything. So she was like living in our bedroom here for a little while after she got spayed. So she was of course being fed up here. And that is what kickstarted her habit of wanting to eat up here sometimes. It's like she got a taste of what it was like to 
eat in peace without other animals surrounding her and now that's what she wants so that's what she gets. All right so now that Alaska, Misty, and Oryx have been fed for the morning, they got their breakfast, it is time to head down to the basement and take care of the animals that are down there. But before we do that I think Alaska here needs to go outside because she just uh, rang her bell there. Do you want to go out? You want to go outside? All right, let's let you outside. Are you gonna go out? It is so warm out today. It probably doesn't even look that warm, but oh my goodness, it is super duper hot. Alaska, good girl, good girl. And here we are, we are now down in my reptile room, ready to take care of the animals that are all down here. So I think the first thing I should do is just turn on the light. And speaking of lights, you may have noticed that like every single light in my pet room is already on despite me not being down here at all today. So every single light that I have hooked up to one of my animals enclosures is on a timer. So every single light down here just automatically comes on and they automatically turn off and I don't have to do anything. So not only are all of my lights on timers but also every single enclosure that I have that needs to be misted in the mornings is hooked up to an automatic misting system so again I don't have to do anything there it is just all automated so it's kind of funny part of me almost just like feels weird doing this video because you know when I say that I have 50 animals I feel like people assume that it is a lot of work which is very correct it is a lot of work it's just not a lot of work in the mornings like I don't know I just feel weird doing this because it seems like I don't really have to do much at all but like I promise you I do just not early in the mornings so even though all of my animals lights are connected to timers I have a few that are not such as my plant light so we will go ahead and turn this on and give some light to my plants and there we go the plants now have light and I also just need to flip the switch to my rabbit's room. There is a window in there so they do get all that natural light, but I do also just like to have the room light on during the day as well. And so while I'm down in my pet room, I oftentimes like to open the door to the rabbit room to let them come out and explore around. Typically they don't like to go too far, like oftentimes they just hang out in this area over here, but I do like to give them that option so we do have some bunnies roaming around now. So after I get all of my lights on and taken care of, I then like to go around and check on my animals' water bowls to see if any of them need clean or fresh water. And give them water as they need it. So I did just go and refill a bunch of waters last night, so I don't suspect that there will be many that need it, but there are definitely a few that tend to get, you know, a lot of dirt and stuff in them that could definitely use a freshening up. So now that all of the waters have been checked and changed and cleaned, it is medication time. So one of my frogs, my mossy frog named Bert, has been dealing with a little bit of a bacterial infection on his nose for a while. And now I do just want to say quickly, it is not a big deal. He has gone to the vet. We do have his medication. He has been healing really, really well ever since I started using this. So he has actually been getting this medication now for two months. And like I said, he has been doing so well the entire time. The only reason why he has needed it for so long is because often Oftentimes, reptiles and amphibians heal very, very, very slow. Reptiles and amphibians have very slow metabolisms and that affects how fast they recover from things. So, Bert is missing a little bit of skin on his nose from the infection and it has slowly been growing back, but like I said, it does take quite some time. But giving Bert his medication is super easy. So normally, Bert is just hanging out somewhere in his pond with his nose nose poking out so that makes it super easy all I have to do is get my little thing back here and 
put a drop on his nose and there we go, Bert has got his medication. So those are the things that I do down here every single day on a regular basis. I come down here, I turn on the few lights that aren't on timers, I go and I check everybody's water, and then I give Bert his medication. So now that that is all out of the way, we can move on to the fun stuff that changes every single day. So when it comes to things like feeding my animals, cleaning their enclosures, obviously the routine is not the same every single day, you know? I have a few animals that eat daily, I have some animals that eat every two, three, four days, some that only eat once a week, some that eat even less than that, so because of that, my feeding and cleaning schedule just varies drastically based on the day. So today I don't have a whole lot to do, I mostly just have a few animals to feed. Mondays are usually pretty light days for me down in the animal room because over the weekend I usually do a lot down here. I spend a big portion of my weekends just cleaning, feeding, and doing all of that stuff so typically when Monday rolls around I don't have a whole lot that I need to do which is always nice. I like having an easy Monday. So this morning we are going to be feeding Tim my Accumonitor, Giannis the Legless Lizard, and then Felix and Fiona my Parsons Chameleons. Like I mentioned earlier, despite having 50 animals, almost all of them are nocturnal. So because of that, it would be completely pointless to feed a lot of them in the day. Most of my nocturnal animals get fed like the hour before their lights go out, so they won't be getting fed for a very long time. But let's go ahead and feed Tim, Giannis, Felix, and Fiona. I bet you wish that you were eating today. I feel pretty confident in saying that because I think Lex wishes that she could eat every moment of her life. Okay, so down here is where I keep most of my reptile feeders. And now I am actually running quite low on feeders today. So I think that I am going to use some super worms to feed all these guys. Giannis, Felix, Fiona, and Tim all love super worms. So I'm sure that they will be happy with today's menu. So it turns out that I literally only have two alive superworms right now. I thought that I had more than this, but apparently not. So we're gonna feed these two worms to Giannis because that is a good sized meal for him today. He doesn't need a whole lot. And then we will get some other feeders for the other animals. And to supplement my feeders today, I am just going to be using some plain calcium. All right, so this is Giannis's enclosure here. And I actually have no idea where his head is, but you can see his body right there a little bit, but yeah, I, I don't know where his head is. I'm gonna have to find that so I can uh, feed him. Okay, so his head is right under this hide here. If I lift it up, <laughs> yeah, you can see him right there. Hello, Giannis. So Giannis is really, really good with tong feeding, so I'm going to grab these worms. Oh, and <laughs> look, there he already is, ready to eat. You dropped it. You dropped the worm. But it's okay because you picked it up again. Good job, Giannis. Would you like another one? I bet that you would. Let's see. Can I get you to move for this one? <laughs> I love it, the way that he chomps the worms off the tongues. What are you doing? There you go. He's so fun to feed. I love feeding Giannis. Oh, <laughs> okay. So since I had a lot less super worms than I expected, I'm going to be feeding some crickets to Felix and Fiona here. So they will each be getting about six crickets. So Fiona here is currently just like hiding in this bush here. So she's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but she knows that food's coming. Whenever I'm feeding my chameleons crickets, I like to just let them go in the enclosure and then let my chameleon hunt them. It's really good enrichment for them to be able to hunt their own food and it's also good exercise for them, so that's why I do that. And Felix here is a little bit easier to see, but he is uh, definitely still just hiding in the back of his enclosure. So once again, I am just going to pour out the crickets here and then Felix can now go and hunt them as he pleases. 
So Tim is going to be getting some mealworms and some black soldier fly larvae and I just wanted to take a quick second to show you guys this adorable worm dish that I have for him. Look at how cute this is. So I got this dish for Christmas back in 2019 and now this dish here was made by my friend Daniela and it was gifted to me by my friend Tyler so thank you guys both for this adorable dish. I use it all the time for Tim. I will link Daniela's Etsy shop down in the description below because she makes some really, really, really cool animal dishes and other things. So if you guys want something cute like this, then make sure you go and check that out. So like I mentioned, I am going to be feeding Tim a combination of black soldier fly larvae and mealworms. So by feeding Tim a meal that is made up of black soldier fly larvae and mealworms, I'm basically like giving him his breakfast and a dessert. Black soldier fly larvae are really good for reptiles. They're a very nutritious feeder that are very high in calcium. And then mealworms on the other hand are not so great. I don't use mealworms very often as a feeder. They're really just like a treat for most of my animals. So that is why I compare this meal as giving Tim him breakfast and a dessert. I'm also not going to be supplementing this feeding by the way. I do not supplement all of my animals feedings all the time so this one today is going to go without supplements. All right Tim's worm dish has been placed in and he found it really quick and I imagine he's gonna go after <laughs> these worms now. <laughs> it looks so funny doing that. Okay Tim. And there we go. I think that it is safe to say that Tim enjoyed both his breakfast and his dessert. And there you have it. There is my morning pet care routine for today. So again, like I said earlier, this is not everything that I do for my animals by any means. I still have so much more that I will be doing down here later today, but like I said, it just doesn't happen until later. So if you guys enjoyed seeing this, let me know if you would want to see like a full daily care routine video because that would have a lot more stuff packed into it. But now that all of that is said and done, I am just going to go ahead and end this video here. So big thank you to everyone who watched. I do appreciate it a ton and it really helps me out. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel and help me hit my goal of 100,000 subscribers. It's getting so close, so I would really, really, really appreciate you guys subscribing. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. It will all be in the description down below and I would love to have you guys over there so make sure you do that and now with all of this said I am just going to wrap up the video thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all on Thursday